Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Daily US Stocks for Thursday, March 31st. So, um, starting with Apple here, we um, are at this old high here, and I think it's just going to be a little bit uh, tricky. If I bring the S&P 500 across here on a five tick chart here, so we can just sort of investigate the top here a little bit. Uh, from, let's just bring that in here. So from this particular low, just to sort of bring it into perspective here, we've got wave four here. We can look at this as wave one here and two here. We can also look at this here as wave one over here as well. There's a few different ways we can look at this. We could also look at this as an A and a B and a C wave up here as a corrective pattern and come back, you know, and come down at this point here as well. So there's a few things that um, we need to sort out. Now, what we have been doing over the wee while is that from this low here, we've been counting up as one and two and three and four and five, uh, three, four, five, four, basically one, two, three, four, and then we've just been working our way up here. And in working our way up here, we've got one, two here, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, so a fourth wave and a fifth wave. So we've got one more uh, move here that would be pretty solid to say uh, then um, and then we could um, at this point I need to investigate this here but I'm thinking that we'll have a third wave of some description and a fourth wave um, but yeah I don't think we should be doing much trading up into this particular space that's what I'm thinking you know um, if we if you know if I can if I can understand that this is corrective here well then we know that we'll be going up again now it may not be wave one it may be a whole new trend extending but all I've done is I've just counted five waves up here okay so when we get to the top here I reckon that we just need to just sort of check and chill let's see if Thursday's a bearish day let's see if we get this uh, here uh, this could drift up on the um, you know in the Asian section uh, open um, but yeah let's see if we get this and let's see what this is here let's see if we can you know look for a, a long trade above that first uh, you know second well that's the high this second high here so yeah look as you can imagine that um, there's a few things that can play out up up here so but yeah all I can tell you for sure is that this trend that we've been tracking up here is just about finished and that's how it's going to be for most stocks as well with most stocks we're also looking for a fourth wave back and, and a fifth wave I don't think we should trade this I think we should just observe it okay so we'll get more into that into the S&P so this is where it brings us here now this little move up here um, is basically the same with the S&P but the S&P basically had another move in in here which Apple hasn't so um, we can look at this in a, a couple of different ways we can look at it coming basically down down here once it's finished or we'll get a little top in here like we're looking for the S&P so to speak to bring in the S&P this little top here and that little move down here and then another move up there that's basically what this is here that little move up down and up there to finish that off so a little bit um, a little bit tricky um, but otherwise if it's wave one here then we'll pull back for wave two here and then we'll be going up so you know I would just basically you know keeping an eye on both counts and uh, gathering the evidence and when we've got a trade set up well then we can move in so um, with that in mind I can count this up here in two ways so we've, we'll go to the uh, 1105 tick here so on the 1000 we can count this move up like this so it's a little bit like the the S&P here so we've got uh, one and two and well one and two and three and four and five up here for the third wave so we've still got this little move to go up here for a little wave four now when we look at the other charts I've got this wave four in green um, so that's giving us a, a top at this point but in this case we've got four five of five of three and then four and then five here for this okay so that would sort of play it out at that point on the 
100 tick I think it's a bit different so in this case here if I count it up I've got one and two here and then three and four here and then I've been counting up with one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave looking for the fourth wave here we've got a reasonable ABC pattern in here there may be another little low in here um, but then basically looking for this move up here so that would be the top at that point right so that would be wave five at that point of C or of one at that point so we'll see uh, how we go we need to once we get to the top we know that number eight here 180 is a profit taking number so we'll just see how how that sort of I just want to see what we get over this side over here for this you know and for the five tick chart on this we've been this is the one that we've been looking at most of the week we'll just bring in a bit more data here it's still not very much So this counts much the same as the 1000 tick chart so one and two here and uh, three and four here then one and two here and one ABC for two here um, all the way up here for three four and then five waves up here for the top here and looking at this being wave four here which I'm not quite sure if we've got that there or not it looks like a third wave here so it's probably another there can be another move down here before that plays up at that point so but there's nothing really to do at this point in the game because you know we we looked at trading from here to here um, so that was it at that point um, so now we now we wait now we wait to see see what we get at these at these tops and this will be the same for uh, Amazon here as well so we you know had this trade from here to here so that's all good um, we're still looking for a fourth wave here it looks a little bit dodgy in that case it's almost coming back to overlap wave one so what have I done wrong here in counting this up here so um, I think let me just double check that seems okay this could be the issue here that could be wave one and two in here and three here and four here leaving the extension in the fifth wave I guess just sort of shooting the breeze here a little bit wave four here and wave five so we may have a top in here anyway but we're, and we're, we're out of this trade anyway so it doesn't doesn't make um, doesn't make a big difference at this point yeah it's just starting to come and overlap that a little bit so look um, I feel like we've done our job in counting this up here and um, what I don't know at this point I don't know if we get some you know some move back into this point here and one more move up and and then we come down when we come down here we either uh, well I'll just draw it out this way we'll either be going long above here or we'll be coming further down at that point so um, yeah I'm not quite sure about that but um, I, we, I knew that we have to wait at this point we just got to wait and see it's the same with alphabet as well um, we can look at alphabet in two different ways a positive and negative like I'm looking at most stocks with wave 3 here with an A and a B and a C wave keeping it really simple and then up for 1 and back for 2 now um, I could look at this slightly different then we'll have to look at this as one and two here as one and two over here for this and then moving up further or we need to look at this as an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave and then moving down but we've got the same sort of thing here as well where we can get uh, a, you know a bit more sort of finishing off as, as a top so to speak um, so that's what we need to be a bit mindful of so this will be the bearish count here pretty much so with a wave B at this point so looking at wave 3 here with an A, B and C for the A wave an A and a B and a C here for the B wave so once again here um, we can have another little move up and then a move down and a move up to finish the top off at this point so there's nothing really to 
there's nothing really to see or do here because it will just be all messy um, uh, yeah I think um, yeah I've got a five tick chart which has got, probably got the top in at this particular point here and that can come down from that point but it's not going to make any difference I'm not going to put a trade out for this I need to now gather some more information um, should I be oh yeah this is meta so this is um, this is a, a, a bullish count that I've been looking at it's a bit of a long shot because this is such a powerful move down through here and it's very typical of a third wave but I thought that I would present it but I wouldn't I think I've presented it before but I, I won't I won't look at it in the bullish light unless we get the medium level here as the support and we get a classic trading levels pattern sitting on that um, on that level like this here then we'll look at being bullish but otherwise we'll look at this as a rally I was looking at the volume on on the weekly chart here so from that first bar up we had a nice push there the second week here um, is shorter range and lower volume and this week here is not finished so it's only got yesterday's data on it this but it's weekly so we'll just keep an eye on on this the 38.2% retracement level that we're looking for on this is at at the 250. I don't know if we'll get there. Let me just put this daily chart on. So the 38.2% retracement level from wave 2 to wave 3 here comes in at the 250 area. So I've just been sort of mucking around with this here. I think we've had a trade or two in here. Um, but once again, I think that we might get that little short move down and then a move up from that uh, from that point uh, there so let me just um, 100 ticks yeah so look in a nutshell I was just kind of looking for one more move here then a move here and then a move here like that that's kind of what we're sort of looking at um, but it may, we may not even get that, you know, but I, I know that it's, it's all just not tradable, you know. Once again, we're, we're out of this little trade here, so that's all good. Um, so, yeah, I just want to be a little bit cautious here. The, it, the good news here is the 230 is the top of um, minor group one of 200. So we can look for a, a classic trading levels pattern here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just see how all this finishes off I don't have a trade I don't have any trades at the moment for uh, today or tomorrow for for anything um, maybe tomorrow we can get a, a day trade out of something or other so it's the same story with Microsoft here as well um, we can look from um, the I'm using this as the low because that's um, that's uh, what, what I feel is the low on the, the, um, this particular data here from a CFD provider so I always sort of double check it on the data that I actually pay for um, and this is the low here so I can look at this as one and two and three and four and five here up for one and back for two here and then push up here or we're going to have a, you know this way for a much more complicated sort of pattern and yesterday I sort of explained about the banks that I'm concerned about because it's kind of they've got like five waves down for the banks you know and um, uh, yeah so I mean you could probably even look at this as five waves down of one and two and three and four and five to this point with an A and a B and a C wave the B wave can go lower than this one um, so it's, po it's, all, it's all possible. I just want to move, th I want to get past all of this before I call it in as a bullish thing. And, you know, sometimes I call the market in bullish at, at lows and sometimes it takes uh, more to work it out. But at the same time, we can always get uh, little trades here and there out of, out of things. So, um, yeah, so in a nutshell here, we're looking for one more move down and then a move up at that point and then we also have to monitor this as well so there won't be a lot going on here in terms of looking for trend trades I just don't see it okay so we'll just go in and have a look so 
just keeping it simple from this low here we can see one two three four five so we can look at it as one and two and then we can look at this as one and two here and then one two three four five for the third wave fourth wave and then we've been moving up here we'll go to the hundred tick and look at that in a moment so this up here could be one and two here and where i've got the a wave we have wave three there i don't know why i haven't got that in but I'm just your basic lazy aussie um so wave three wave four and then wave five so yeah um, there's, a, there's a lot to sort out within all of this here so all we've been doing over the last uh over the you know the last week or so is just basically tracking this move up through here so i want to see if we get this wave four i think that we will based on 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 this here but we also need to understand too this here is as an a wave a b wave and five waves up here for that could be an, an a and a b and a c wave just finished where that is and then move down from here too so that's why we've got to keep an eye on this here um yeah so a little bit sort of complicated with all of this but let's just go in and we've been looking at this on the 100 tick chart so we'll just continue to do that let's just don't need that bring a bit more data it's two enough yeah so we've got wave one and two here And then one and two and one two three four five third way fourth way that was all pretty easy um then i've got one and two here a little bit sort of tricky in here but i was looking at all of this as one and two and three and four and five the third wave and this is not finishing off very nicely here do i look i mean it's okay as one and one and two here and three here but this wave four starts to overlap this one here so it's starting to get all bent out of shape and markets don't you know if um there's leaders and followers and uh the leaders will normally sort of lead and finish quite nicely and the followers will sort of get bent out of shape i also don't know with this here if i've made a mistake it could be here i've got this as an abc for the a wave and then a b wave and a c wave but maybe that needs to go over here and we look at that as the abc pattern here so it could be something to like that um but at the same time I'd, I'd you know and the other thing too is we're coming into you know wednesday and thursday i call the swing days and they're the days that take out your stops um if we get a bearish thursday then we may be able to look at friday being bullish so hopefully that you know this this will play out here in some sort of uh, uh abc pattern here for this as way four and then we'll go up for wave five so we may be able to catch that move up there if if i can identify this as a corrective sort of little pattern here but just to let you know that this hasn't really signed off very nicely here we've got this overlap of wave one here and uh not sure the best way to look at that um but yeah so anyway a bit of an issue here with that so i don't really have any answers today that's the thing um uh tesla here this is the bullish count for tesla so we could look at uh wave three here with an a wave a b wave and a c wave for wave four then one and two here and then all the way up here for wave three and then four and then five here for wave one and back for wave two so that's that would be the bullish count will that occur i don't know i mean if it's going to fail it's going to fail in these old high areas over here for this so we do have a bearish count on 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 this as well looking at this here as a b wave up here as a as an a and a b and a c wave coming up here needs to finish off up here so we can go in and have a look at that but at the same time too like we've had this trend here and this is the same within all the markets so we've had this nice trend and yes there can be a little bit more to it but it's not like the trend is starting and we should all pile in you know this is a place where we need to be cautious so that's what i'm doing simple as that so on the bearish count i think that's not on that but on the 2k tick i think so this is looking at it in a bearish sort of mode here with an a wave here b wave here and going up here for wave three four 
and going up for five here that probably making that a look look a little bit big at that point um something of this nature uh here for that so this is where we need to be sort of a little bit careful this can be counted uh differently as well and i've done that so i'll be looking at that but um yeah once again this trend up here it could go you know maybe i got it wrong and it could go a bit higher here or you know it, it might even just within here might even just make a new high here and then drop like that but just be careful about where we are in this you can see that we've had a nice trend here but it hasn't been corrected hasn't been rebalanced yet you know that's the that's the point and I think it's on 1,000, and then we got 1,100. Um, yeah, this is just the bullish count. We've got one here and two here and three, four, and five here for this, uh, and then back for two. This could be counted. I could put, I could put wave one over here as well, and look at all of this as blue wave one up here and blue wave two back again so i'm i'll be open-minded about things as i as i move through i like to look at i like to sort of include all the counts um we've got 100 here which may be a bit of a different count once again here so this will be a little bit this is the one we've been following all week um also here it hasn't uh finished off very well now I've got these one degree higher here so don't worry about that but all we've been doing all, all week is is um, is you know tracking this up through here and I've got this in a different a degree higher this is a different count um, but it doesn't really matter just for the purposes of it we're looking at wave three and we looked at wave four wave four is a bit of a problem we could end up having wave four sitting way over here for this as well on this little move down here but this one the number one is the strongest n number in the market and it can skew the patterns that you're looking at but wave four has got to go somewhere it can't go on this one because that's an impulse wave to the downside so either got to go there or it's got to go where that two is there so there's a few issues here but we've got this nice third wave uh, in play here um, so I was looking for another high above this one here but no, it's not getting it that looks like five waves here so maybe wave four has got to go over here and we've got wave five to go up up here for this one so there's something not quite right uh, in this little space here but it's not going to present me with a trade I mean if it took out that top there you could trade it but I don't think you're going to be going very far with that so it's probably um, it's starting to look like if we I mean it's not a very nice five wave structure here either you know um, but I suppose it makes a nice a b and c here then one two three four five here for that so we could put this here as an a wave and a b wave and C wave down here for that. And that will probably make one more move down and then a move up like that. It still doesn't doesn't give us a lot, you know. I'm not really sure how that plays out. So don't don't um yeah I'm not I'm not looking for i'm not uh, I, I can't call the trade in anywhere for any of this and um coming over to square so with square here we'd been looking at this here as a little abc pattern down here for wave four and then looking for wave five to move up but this is not finishing off very nicely either now i've got now i've got wave four overlapping this one here so maybe i've got to put that in in here like this and call that a day at that point you know but as i mentioned before with this particular stock here i wasn't of at the 150 here we want to look for a classic trading levels pattern to get a long trade so if that's the 150 we're hovering around here at the moment we need that that and that and then we can go long over here that would be the long trade so there's it's not there do you know to go long before a large number is just not the done thing sure you can get away with anything at, you know at times but over a long period of time uh, it just doesn't add up so um, yeah is that the top there I, I don't know you know um, we just need to be a little bit mindful of all of this um, 
you know, if we get a little pattern that pops up through here and gives us a high here and then we get an ABC pattern sort of coming into this or something, well then we could look to go long at that point, you know, but I don't have a setup and I don't want to go long there either for, uh, for that. And that brings us over to the banks. Um, so yeah, you know with the banks is that, um, well with BAC here, let's just, yeah, first of all, before we go here, um, it's a pretty scruffy looking trend here. It has moved up, but um, it's struggled to move up. Um, I don't know if I've got, this is an A and a B and, and basically one, two, three, four, five for wave C coming into the 42 here and then pushing up there, or will it drop down into a B wave here and then push up here? Um, but on the, uh, on the, uh, 10k ticks. As I mentioned yesterday, that's the actual high at, at 50.11 and that's 50.08. So considering this a high here, it does present a nice impulse wave down here. So <clears throat> we kind of got to look at that as a B wave. And that's kind of one of the reasons that I'm bearish, you know, got that bearish pattern on stocks. It's not that, um, you know, Apple and all that could just make, Apple and so on could make new highs, but Tesla and all that make new highs. And these markets here, um, you know, will have an A and a B and a C here coming up like that. And then they'll come down. And while, while the Apples are, of the world are, 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 have topped out up here and moving down, well, these banks, you know, have struggled around here and, and, and can move down from that point, you know. So that's all possible. Um, with Morgan's here, much the same as well. I was looking at this from the low here, which can be a low in place here, um, but it's a bit of a long shot, but um, one and two here, and three and ABC for four here, and then pushing up for five here. Um, this is okay as an impulse wave and a corrective wave, but if it drops below here, then I'll need to look at it as a B wave. I don't have any trades here for um, for, for this either in this case. So um, nothing sort of cooking uh, here for this. One of the problems I've got with this, and I haven't really sort of solved it yet, is that, you know, is that five waves down here? Yes, it does overlap somewhat here, um, but let's just you know, humour me for a moment because there's a nice strong third wave here, you know. If it is a, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five here, well then we'll, we'll have an ABC here and then we will go down again, you know. So that's just the thing that's sort of haunting me a little bit. And you can see all of this move here, it's really struggling to hold up here, you know, at this point. So it's a bit tricky to count all of this. We could look at it as the wave four as one and two and three and four across here and going up for wave five, but then would only pull back anyway. Um, and and Goldman's is the same as well uh, with all of this. So it's also sort of struggling. And, you know, to, to look at this as an impulse wave is a bit of a hard job, really, because we could look at that as wave one and two here and maybe wave one and two here. But once again, you know, do we look at this five wave move down here as the A wave, if this drops down through here, taking out that low there, I mean, at the moment it looks like wave one up here and we could look at it as wave two, but it would need to push up from that point. But if it drops back below here, then we'll need to look at that as an A and a B and a C wave here, which doesn't really shine a nice light on this being an impulsive wave to the upside, but I'm still looking at it as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave up here and then coming down at that point. And in this case, it's the same same story, it's not the best looking sort of five waves coming down. Um, I thought I had that labelled, oh well. But you can see here as well, but you know, as let's just assume this is the first impulse wave here and a corrective wave there and a nice strong third wave here and then a fourth and a fifth and the fifth wave and the first wave are roughly the same and that's the high there so you know and it's struggling to go off here we're kind of looking for a bit more of a thing we could look at as down for one and back for two down for one and back for two and down for one and back for two and coming back to the 50 60 mark and going down at that point so there's a you know there's a few things like that going on um, 
Yeah, but once again, it does have, you know, this point here does have overlap uh, through here for that. So it sort of negates it being five waves down, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just keep tracking the intraday of it here. And, you know, we've been doing that and it's it's not really reflecting an impulse wave to the upside. It could be as, as one and two and one and two, but it's not looking very healthy. You know, if we if we um, if if I if I can identify it as being a corrective rally, um, and that's, you know, in due course, it, it will become clear, even this little pattern, he will become clear that it's corrective. Then we know that the banks are going to be coming down further at that point, you know. And what, what effect does that have on the, uh, on the indices? Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Cheers.